Hey, Caperfin, can you go over your add-ons in Season of Discovery? Ooh, uh, yes. I, it's gonna, this is, uh, I will speed run this if you do not mind. I have a lot of add-ons. I have a lot of weak auras, a lot of extensions and profiles and whatnot. I will try my best. If there's something I forget to mention, I will make a YouTube video or or cut it up into maybe two videos because it's this is this is big. All right, I gotta I gotta channel channel my energy here. Stretch. All right, so the first add-on I'm actually gonna use the add-on list. So for memory, but it's going to be a lot of intricate uh, stuff with my UI. So deadly boss mods, no surprise there. Arc inventory. Arc inventory is basically my bags. Uh, let me just hide, I'll move my camera here so you guys can see. So arc inventory consolidates all of your bags into one bag. What makes Arc Inventory good is that you can name your categories. So you can make kind of sets, bag sets, I think you would call them, and you can categorize them and name them. So here I have a category that is called tools. I have it abbreviated TO. So this section, this row, I've specifically designated as tools. So I don't need to scour around in my bags. I know if I need a tool, I just look at this row. Okay, I have it, good. Yeah, I think you guys get the idea. Next is basic auctioneer add-on, nothing too surprising there. There is actually one thing about the auctioneer add-on is that it allows you to make categories. So let me just move my I have to move my camera again. Auctioneer allows you to make categories so you can easily search stuff. Whether it be consumables, right? I have a whole list of consumables that I've already pre-selected to search the auction house. So I just go here, click once, and there you go. These are all the tanking priest consumables, if I'm correct. Yeah, more or less. And then I just click buy. Very easy, very convenient. Next is, next add-on is big wigs. Big, big wigs is exactly the same as DBM. I have big wigs installed because sometimes deadly boss mods doesn't update as much as big wigs. I just have both alternating. No big deal there. Details. Details is the threat meter I use in conjunction with the other threat meter, which is Threat Classic 2. In terms of a threat meter, I use Threat Classic 2 and Details Tiny Threat. I will alternate between Threat Classic 2 and Details. Details is mostly used for dungeon tanking while Threat Classic 2 is more for raid tanking. In, in Threat Classic 2, it will change the bar color in association with the class within the threat meter. As far as I can tell, it is not possible to do that feature in details. So you have to install Threat Classic 2 in order to see the class colors in terms of where they are in the threat meter. Next is LVUI. LVUI is basically the UI. So you'll see, for example, my add-on list is in this nice little black window. It also will change how your character screen looks like, for example, your mini map, stuff like that. LVUI is kind of the general all-purpose UI add-on. It does a lot of things. Next is Enchantrix. Enchantrix is mostly for disenchanting. It has a neat little disenchanting feature where you can just automatically disenchant without having to click the disenchant ability each time. This is just something I 
I do, I disenchant while there's nothing else to do. This add-on helps. No big deal. You guys can disregard that. Item Rack. Item Rack allows me to switch between the many different tanking sets associated to priest tanking. That's one of the neat little intricacies of tanking as a priest. You have so many sets, you kind of have to decide which set is better for which boss fight. There's critical thinking. Ugh, I love priest tanking. Item Rack, highly suggested. I have many different, for example, here, I believe I have about five different sets. Yes. We'll keep that maybe for another day. That's a big topic. Next is Leatrix Maps. Now, I don't really know. I think Leatri Leatrix Maps is basically... I think it's this. I think it's the map. Yes. Oh, so yeah. Leatrix Maps allows you to make your world map smaller and within a window that you can freely move around. This is very good. Instead of having to press M, which by default will put a huge world map on your screen, instead of that, Leatrix Maps will make it smaller and have it make it stay within your screen. Very convenient. I synergize Leatrix Maps with Questy and therefore the Questy travel path, the Questy icons will be in Leatrix Maps. Very neat feature. Next is LFG Bulletin Board. Pretty straightforward. I don't think I need to explain that one. Method Raid Tools. Uh, let me move my camera. Method Raid Tools is basically what you see at the bottom right corner. Let me go here so you guys can see a bit more better. So right here where my mouse is circling, this is the raid cooldown bar. This will show available raid cooldowns that the raid can provide. When something becomes available, it will show in the bottom right corner. Unfortunately, method raid tools does not track every single raid cooldown. For example, it does not track Rally and Cry and a bunch of other stuff. You will need to use other add-ons to kind of substitute for the raid cooldowns that Method Raid Tools is missing on. We'll cover that in a second here. That is Method Raid Tools. We use its, its raid cooldown feature. Next is Nova Raid Companion. Nova Raid Companion is the substitute to Method Raid Tools. Like I said, Method won't track every single raid cooldown. Nova Raid Companion will kind of help a bit, a bit more with the leftover raid cooldowns. I, I, it's, it's a shame that it has to be like that. We're using two different add-ons to perform the same action, but next is Omni CC, which pretty much I displays the cooldown on my action bars. Yeah, nothing too special there. Peddler will automatically sell my junk when I go visit a vendor. Questy, straightforward. Talented, ah, this, this is one I get asked quite often. People are always surprised how I'm able to see another class's talents. This is how, it's the add-on talented. The add-on talented will allow me to see the talents of every single other class in World of Warcraft. I'm also able to save said talent setup. Uh, I'm able to refer to it, tons of stuff. You can also automatically switch talents depending on certain situations. It has a lot of things, highly suggested. Uh, great for theory crafting when you're bored or if you're a raid leader trying to, you know, do some admin stuff in terms of roster. Talented really helps. Next is Threat Classic 2. I believe I've covered that. Voodoo. Voodoo are my unit frames. I really, really like Voodoo's unit frames. 
it has certain design features that are just not present in other other unit frames. Voodoo, I believe on my screen, is in the bottom left almost corner. I'll circle it with my mouse. That is my Voodoo frame. I believe I have it configured so if I left click it should cast Flash Heal. Yes, that's Voodoo. I use its unit frame. Mm -hmm. Next is Weak Auras. Ooh, weak Auras. <laughs> this is a very big add-on that lets you modify plenty of things within the game. I will post a link to the most popular weak auras that I use on a daily basis. My weak auras are very intricate. They allow me to tank as a priest much more reliably and comfortably. It's I highly suggest installing at least some of these weak auras. For example, I have a weak aura that allows me to see the buffs I currently have and the buffs I am missing and could have either from myself, maybe I forgot to use a buff, or from other people in the party or raid. So you can really catch people who are being lazy. So for example, if there's a druid in the raid and you don't have Mark of the Wild, this weak aura will let you know, hey, there's a druid in the raid and you still don't have Mark of the Wild. Hmm, better let him know <laughs> to cast Mark of the Wild. Next is the a uh, weak aura that lets you know in which set you are currently in. Uh, maybe this is a bit personal, but uh, because of how many sets we have as a tanking priest, it can become a, a bit overwhelming. There's so many things to track. So having a weak aura to kind of let you know, hey, you're still in this set might be good for you. Next is a... So I have all of my weak auras enabled now, so this is why there's a lot of stuff on screen. I have a weak aura that lets me know if I'm still in the range of a Tranquil Air Totem. The last thing you want as a tanking priest is to get your threat reduced by Tranquil Air Totem, so this will let me know to move away from the Tranquil Air Totem. Maybe pull the boss a bit, a bit further, or maybe change my direction, what have you. I have a weak aura that lets me know, hey, I'm still in range of the Tranquil. Next is a weak aura that lets me know if I have Martyrdom. That proct, Martyrdom, allows me to more freely cast spells. This is kind of my own personal notification to just go crazy. Hey, Caperfin, you have Martyrdom. Use a trinket if you want to, just go full out. Uh, I have a weak aura that lets me know if I've lost threat on the raid boss. If that happens, to use Target Dummy. Target Dummy will pull aggro on the boss if I lost aggro. This will allow me a few more extra seconds to possibly gain back aggro on the raid boss. Uh, next are the debuffs I currently have present on the boss. Shadow Ward Pain, Mind Spike, Vampiric Embrace. If there is a Druid in the raid, this will let me know that Insect Swarm could be cast on the boss. I also have a debuff for Shadow Weaving to make sure I have five stacks of Shadow Weaving. Void Plague, that's situational. Also, if my Mind Blast resisted, so if my Mind Blast resisted, this Weakura kind of lets me know, you might need to pull off some crazy stuff, Caperfin. Mind Blast missed, so this is very helpful. I also have a Weakura that lets me know buffs that are crucial, that are missing. For example, Power Word Fortitude. Inner Fire, these are really big, so I have them front and center. Just in case if I missed them on the bottom left corner, I have an extra visual notification. It's bouncing in the center. That's for me. And that's pretty much it. A simple week worth to let me know if I'm low on mana, low on HP. If I'm low on HP, do you either use a potion or health stone? Yep, that, that pretty much wraps a neat little bow on my add-ons and a bit of my UI as well. Oh, uh, the reason. So a lot of, I'll disable my weak auras here in a second. There we go. A lot of people say that my UI is simplistic. There is a reason for this. As a tank, it's very important that you see what's ahead of you as much as possible. You want a a, a wide field of vision. You never know if you accidentally pull something to the left or the right, so you want that part of the screen 
to be empty. You want to know the very second that either you mistakenly pull or someone else pulls. So you have more of a reaction time. So this is why my action bars are all in the center of the screen because there's no such thing as a mob appearing in the center of the screen. So it's kind of a, a dead space, if you will, to freely put all your spells. So let me move my camera here. That's, uh, that's a question I often get asked. Why is my UI so simplistic? I need to see as much as possible. I have everything in these neat little corners, so why I can see a lot.